So in today's video I'm going to try and do poly gel on this hand. I have applied the tips and I have filed and shaped them. Uh, I'm just going to obviously paint them afterwards. They're not the same length but I'm not bothered either way. So I need to just get, I've already prepped and primed these nails as you will have seen in the previous video. So I'm going to go in with some nail, uh, Madame Glam base coat and I am just going to apply a layer of this onto the nail. I'm doing it on all of the nail. I'm not sure if you have to do it on all the nail because I don't work with gel ever. So I'm just going to apply this and boom. Has anyone else experienced this heat wave in England? It is horrible. I'm naturally a redhead though, so I find any kind of heat horrible. Uh, and I hate the sun. Alright, so I'm just going to pop that in the lamp for 30 seconds because that's how long this one has to cure for. And I've got a heat spike. My nails are very sensitive to gel and it's always burning and stuff. So you have to just keep popping your hand in and out of the lamp. So I'm going to come back when that's thingy because obviously you don't want to thing yet. Okay, so that's all cured. So the poly gel I'm using is this one, Major DG poly gel. This is clear. It's just a random clear one. It's a cheap one off eBay, so it's not special. In this Daffin dish, I have some Nail Nails Gel Residue Wipe Off Solution. And I have this brush. So it's a brush on one hand and a spatula and a piece of kitchen towel. And then you just squeeze I've never done it this way so I'm not even sure how much gel I actually need per finger so we're just gonna wing it and then uh, you whack that on I would assume I'm just gonna get the poly gel off my actual thing and I'm, I'm dipping the brush the gel brush into the gel residue so that my thing doesn't get sticky and then just move it around until you're happy I'm really not sure how this thing how you're supposed to work with this like this way anyway because I've never actually used it this way so I'm just like guessing Oh crap. So obviously you still want an apex. It's getting a bit sticky my brush. So pull this back up. I do like how this is um uh, what's the word? A bit easy. It's kinda like acrylic but not. So um you can work with it a bit longer, which is a good thing, especially if you're a bit slow. Um, okay, I think that one's right. Obviously, I don't want any of this gel stuff on my finger. So, I'm just going to hopefully thingy. You can always file it down if it's too thingy because it's gel in it. So, I'm just going to quickly flash curl that for 10 seconds because obviously I don't want that one to move when I'm doing the next one. Okay, so I'm gonna do the next one. I've put slightly less, because I'm not sure. Has anyone been watching Jessica Jones on Netflix? It's actually a really good program. It's like really, really good. I wasn't expecting it to be. 
but I actually really, really like it more than I thought I would. I think this is actually a neater way of doing this, you know, this poly gel thing. Whack a tip on, pat and press the poly gel into place. Boom, Bob's your uncle, you're done. Okay. I'm gonna pop that in the lamp for 10. I have noticed that it is super easy when when I was doing these this hand it's a bit mess this hand but when I was doing this hand it was actually really easy to file the nails um I don't know if that's any help to anybody but it was quite easy so and I do like how it just like back into the pot when you you know let go So I'm just like, it's so much easier, as stupid as it sounds, to get around the cuticle area with this stuff. And I can get like right in, you know, with the brush. It's really weird. I'm, it's not even this easy when I'm trying to do it with the acrylic. I don't know if you can hear my son's bunk bed squeaking. He's a right little fidget when he's asleep. Cure that for 10 seconds. I think I need some more poly gel when I get some money together. Because that would, I think I want some more. You know, like the different colours, because I know Nail Nails has quite a few. It's like 20 quid for a tube of it. And I know it's a big tube of it. But when you haven't got any money and you don't earn any like this, you know, like lords, like some people do. It's kind of hard when you want some new products and stuff. So I need acrylics. I'm having a bit of a moan today. It's been a rough weekend. My son, uh, not my son, my boyfriend's sons came yesterday. They went home today. Uh, they were awesome. And, um, Listen, they we made uh, they made with my niece some breakfast muffins from Aunt Betty's. Uh, Betty, yeah, it is Aunt Bart Betty's, and uh, they made some cheese and tomato ones, so they were savoury. And then they also made some fruit ones with like raisins and cranberries and stuff in them. And uh, they made them, and obviously they tasted them, and they like spat out the cheesy ones because they were disgusting. And they were that wasn't because they they cooked it wrong though it was because the thing was absolutely minging and salty and disgusting and they followed all the rules on the packet cooked it for the right time and everything it was hanging but it was funny bless them okay 10 seconds and then it's just the thumb what I will be doing obviously is I will file shape and buff off camera like I always do and then I'll add some nail polish and obviously cuticle oil Um, yeah I will do that bit on camera the polishing and the last layer of nail polish obviously I usually use this this is the tube I use when I'm uh, adding you know really chunky rolling
Okay, so I'm going to cure this uh, for a full 60 seconds and then I will be back after I've filed and shaped and everything to top, uh, put the nail polish on and stuff on. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, so I filed, shaped and buffed my nails. I've got a bit of dead skin there. Ignore it. Okay, so I'm using Madame Glam Glittery Plum. Still have uh, some thing in there. Nail, work, nail and Nails Gel Residue Wipe Off Solution. Just in case um, I get any on my skin like I did on my other hand. And then you just go around. You have to put two coats on. This gives it the true colour. So don't worry if you get it all over your skin. You just get a brush and then just go around. Sometimes you can use your nail if you want. It's entirely up to you. And then move on to the next finger. So I'm just going to keep doing that. These are not my best set I've ever done on myself. But to be honest, my depression and that lots all over the place. I don't even, can't even be bothered doing them. So... But I just wanted to make sure I had a couple of videos, you know, for you guys. Even though I can't be bothered and I don't want to be doing anything right now. That's uh, what I'm doing. Just want to give it yes. Okay. Some guys must watch these videos and think, oh God, she's, she's swiping loads on that nail, didn't she? So I'm going to pop this in the lamp for 30 seconds and then I will come off camera and I will do the top coat off camera and the second layer off, top, off camera and then I'll come back to show you the reveals. So I'll be back in a moment. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. So I have applied some Nail Nails Peach Cuticle Oil to my cuticles and I just need to brush under there. Okay, so let's compare the differences. So this hand was done with pop sockets, uh, not pop sockets, what they call poppets, you know, where you put it in the thing and you put it on the nail and cure it and pop it off. That's what these are. So that's this set. And as you can see, it's all lumpy and ganky underneath. And then on this side is with tips. So you've not got anything. It's just a nice smooth underneath. And then they look all right. I don't know if the structure's right, but I don't do gels ever, any form of gels. So yeah, guys, there you are. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any ideas for any other videos. And I hope to see you in the next video. And I will see you soon. Bye.